Hey guys, it's Nick from bonbonsai.com and today I'm going to be talking about bonsai care. Now before I get started, I want to tell you about my bonsai ebook. If you're interested in learning how to prune, trim, and sculpt a bonsai, then go to the link above at bonbonsai.com forward slash bonsai book. And that's how you can find where to get my cheap, 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 cheap bonsai ebook that provides fantastic information. Moving on to the topic of the day, what are the basics of effective bonsai care? Well, caring for your bonsai tree involves many of the same activities associated with caring for a pot, plant, or an indoor plant. Well-developed and healthy fibrous roots are essential for the continued good health of your bonsai tree, and repotting it is an, essent is an essential way to manage this process. Normally, a young or fast-growing bonsai will need to be repotted roughly once a year. For less prolific growers or older trees, it can be done as infrequently as once every five years. You should always try to repot during late winter or early spring when the buds start to swell. Now, how do you repot a bonsai? The process of repotting a bonsai is one that you should take very seriously and follow these simple instructions. First, you should tidy the tree by carefully pruning off any unwanted long branches. Also, make sure the tree has been under cover for a few weeks if it is an outdoor bonsai. This way the soil will be relatively dry. Once you remove the tree from its pot, you'll be able to see whether it really needs repotting. If it is root bound, then you should repot it. However, if there are another few inches of room so the roots can grow a little longer, then you can carefully replace the tree in its original pot and continue as normal. You should remove surface soil from the roots either by hand or by a nylon scrubbing brush. Brush away from the trunk and be careful not to damage any of the roots. Removing the loose soil will give the bonsai tree a healthier look and feel. Once you've removed the mo most of the soil in this way, you can use a small fine bristled paintbrush to remove the soil stuck to the roots or that has collected in the roots. Use a bonsai fork to comb out the roots. Do this by combing out the roots from underneath and then use scissors to prune up to a third of the roots and then cut out small wedges around the bottom uh, of the root base to allow fresh soil to collect and keep your bonsai healthy. Add a layer of grit to the bottom of the pot and then add the bonsai compost of your choice. Take the time to position your bonsai in the pot and then push a little bit more soil into awkward places. Complete this as often as you need, um, no, as you need, or as you feel it is needed. So that's all for this video. I'm going to be making many more videos like this, so make sure you subscribe and stay tuned. Check out the link above if you're interested, like I said, in pruning, trimming, and sculpting a bonsai tree. That's all for today, and I'll see you in the next one.